Hey friend, I'm so glad that you've decided that you want to pray today. And for those of us that follow Christ or or want to enter into relationship with him and ask him to be our our savior through his forgiveness of our sins, I, I don't think that there's a more important prayer that we could pray besides asking the Lord to help us to get to know him better. Jesus Christ has risen. He is a person. Uh, so we can have a relationship with him, which is uh, one of the most precious gifts that we could consider that could ever be given to us, that the the King of Kings and Lord of Lords is one that wants to have a relationship with us. So, of course, I think it it um, is something that we should be deeply pursuing is to just get to know him better. And how do we get to know people? We communicate with them. And so prayer and seeking him and aligning with the promises that are in his word that, that he wants to know us is such a precious thing to be able to pursue. So I'm just so glad you want to join in this prayer time together with this. I'll pray. And then if, if you would just agree, that would be the amount of quote unquote work that is on your end to do with it. But it's, it's, it's something that I can help you just kind of model a prayer as to what you would want to do as far as getting to know the Lord with, with some of the things that, that I ask here. Um, you're welcome to pray along. You're welcome to stop and pause it and pray whatever you'd like. And I, I do encourage, you know, it's best always for us to come to the Lord with a clear conscience and so if there's anything that we need to confess before we would come to a forum in this time, I certainly would encourage you to just pause the video and and take some time to do that and just ask for his forgiveness and for his cleansing of these things. So that as we approach the Lord and just say, hey, we, we really want to know you more, Lord, that there isn't any of that stuff that's in the way with it then. So let's... Let's consider some scriptures about getting to know the Lord better, and let's just let's just ask Him to help do that because He He wants to help us in all ways, and I think He's especially eager to help us get to know Him better, so that we we know what to expect from Him. Not as far as what answered prayers will look like, but we know what to expect as far as His faithfulness, His holiness, His power, His all knowing. All these things, if we get to know Him better. You know, we can be more like him, which I think is another major goal for us to have as believers in Christ. So Ephesians 117, let's think about the fact that Paul is writing from a Roman prison, and he tells the Ephesians that he's praying for them, and he also tells them that they can pray for themselves, the same type of prayer that he's praying. So it's kind of what we're doing here, that that I can pray and model a prayer that, that you would be able to pray along with. But Paul sets the standard for that with the Ephesians. So Ephesians 1.17 says, I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. Paul is very aware that it really is the Lord himself that gives us the capacity to be able to know him more. So may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. So Lord, I pray that for my friend who has, is praying along with this video today, Lord, that you would indeed give them the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that they may know you better. Or they, they want to pursue you in deeper relationships, so I pray that you just guide us in prayer today as we do that. Lord, we, we thank you for your word being so complete, and that is clearly the best way for us to, to get to know you better is to spend time in your word, so thank you for all the details that you share in that and the wonderful images that we can grab a hold onto. I think of the fact that in Psalms it says that your word, which is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path, that you don't leave us in darkness, Lord. Thank you that we can get to know you better. And that that shows that you illuminate the way for us, that you are the living word that's made flesh. You are the light of the world in whom there is no darkness at all. So, Lord, we desire to bathe in that light, um, the light that the Lord Jesus brings, so that the light of your love and grace may shine through us to others. We don't want to get to know you better for selfish reasons. We want to get to know you better so that we might might be like you and so that we could be ministers of your grace, and especially when there's times when there isn't a whole – seems like there's not a lot of light in a circumstance, Lord, that we can bring your light to it as we get to know you more. Lord um, – we must decrease so that you might increase. So help us to see where we're too much in the way of growing a relationship with you 
and that we might know how to back off, how to decrease, how to just take away anything that we're trying to interject into a situation or a conversation or a relationship, Lord. Lord, I pray that you would help us to disappear in many senses, Lord, that you would help us to decrease so that you might increase in everything and truly become all in all, as your word says. Lord, cleanse us from anything that is not of you, uh, our thoughts, our plans, our understandings of things, the the way that we might be predisposed towards certain sins, all these things, Lord, we pray that you would just cleanse us so that there's nothing in our heart and mind that has any power over us that is not, that's not you. Lord, we lift you up, and overall, Lord, we pray that you would help us to know you. You would help us to become like you. When we know that we're not worthy, Lord, we think of how it's written in the scriptures, we're not worthy to gather up the crumbs under your table, but we know that above all, you are gracious. Um, your very nature in every way is loving and merciful, and that your wisdom has provided ways for us to be able to build on what we know of you, to build a relationship more deeply as you continue to real, reveal yourself to us, Lord, as we spend time in your word, as we spend time in prayer, and as we spend time considering and listening to you. Help us attune our ears, knowing that you speak, Lord. You speak through your word. You speak through other people. You speak through circumstances. And you speak to us with that still, small voice that we know when you are communicating something to us. I pray for my friend and myself that we would be able to identify that very easily when that happens. Lord, that we would be able to cut through all the clutter and the noise of everything that surround us in our everyday so that we might know your voice above all else. Lord, we pray that in the power of the Holy Spirit that you would endow us with the spirit of wisdom and understanding, as Paul spoke of, so that we might know know you more and love you more with every passing day. We pray that the eyes of our hearts would be illumined by your word of truth so that we might know more fully the hope to which we've been called again, calling on that prayer that, that Paul prayed with the Ephesians. So, so very important, Lord, help, help that to ring true in our minds and hearts. Lord, we will know you more by the virtue of what your incredible sacrifice was for us. Lord, give us a deeper understanding of what it actually means that you have died on the cross and you have um, provided forgiveness for our sins through that. And Lord, for the in accordance with that, that we would have a greater understanding of the power of your resurrection, that you overcame death and sin. You overcame the grave, and you were raised to life again. Lord, we can just kind of gloss over that in our minds. Help us to to really dig deep into what the power of your resurrection truly means for us as individuals, but also for the world and for the kingdom of God, Lord. I pray that you would help us to have a deep, reverent understanding of that and in no way try to diminish your power in understanding that is lacking on our parts, Lord. Lord, we know that we've been created by you. And so just in light of even that, we know we have a deep yearning to to know our creator um, and to draw closer to you. So I pray that you'd help us to identify with you, to identify with your death, so that we might die to ourselves more quickly and more um, eagerly, maybe not the right word, but we would be quick to do that and not just kind of hold on to stand our ground because we think we might be right on something. Lord, help us to die to self and live in the newness of your life, Lord. Lord, I just pray that you would help us. We really do want to know you more. We really do want to know your love. Help us to see the ways that we're just kind of downplaying that. Help us to know the, the incredible power that your love has. Lord, you, you call us friends even in Scripture to think that the God of the universe and the King of kings and Lord of lords would call, call us your friend, Lord. That's all in you making the approach. It's all in you paving the way. It's nothing that we have done. But I pray that my friend and I, as we pray and as we pursue in your word, that we truly would get to know your character. We would know somehow an appreciation for the depths of your wisdom 
And we know that when you grant us the answers to our prayers, when we pray for wisdom, when we pray for courage, when we pray for right understanding, when we pray for your power to be more evident in our lives, and believing that you're generous and kind, because we know that's how you're described in the Word of God. So as we know you, we know what we can kind of expect when we pray, when we lay out our requests that you are glad to hear, that as you answer it, we will be able to recognize more and more of who you are even in those answers. Even if those answers would be things that we don't necessarily grab hold of right away or agree with even right away. Lord, I pray that you would truly just align our hearts and minds to everything that you would you would speak to us, that you would answer with, that you would provide and that you would guide in. Lord, thank you for the graciousness and kindness of everything that you are. And I do just pray with my friend today, Lord, that we would be able to know you more every day as we spend time in your word and as we spend time with you. Help us not to be so rushed and hurried by things of the world that we we put this as a lesser thing to pursue. Lord, help us to know that, that, that getting to know you, Lord, is the greatest thing that we could ever pursue. So help us to do that. Help us to know how to do that. And I pray that you'd help us every day with that because it is the most noble pursuit that we could ever go after, Lord. Thank you that you allow yourself to be known. It's so kind. So we pray all these things in the approachable and the powerful name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen.